<laughs> yes. Good morning, SCT friends. Catherine from Scott's Wednesday Magazine. And I'm here with a legend. I appreciate it. I do hate it. That's why I do it. Because what are you going to say now? What am I going to say? That's pretty cool. Really special, you know, because it only took me 10 years to get the courage to actually get in front of that camera. So, um, so excited. Uh, for those of you that have registered for Create and Inspire 2020, uh, you know, it has kind of been this show and it's been really amazing, but I'm so excited to welcome you to the I know you came to Cornwall, and that is great. It's so kind of in the middle of nowhere, but I'm excited now you've come to Toronto and you say, you know, our beautiful city is so um, it's going to be really great. So, we, enough of that, we're here in Heidi's booth, which is stunning. We're going to take you on a tour of Yes. That. Should we show them the overall real okay, quick no. about, so like... Just make sure you get the creation. That's mm -hmm. all the creation. Okay, matters. yeah. This is what, <laughs> this is Heidi's favorite part. The beginning, the end, the middle. I was going to say, you're going to be now. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at this awning, too. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's really cool. Very cool. Okay. The third year of the awning. So oh. I think that that's like it's environmental. Yeah, very good. <laughs> very good. Don't look too close because I summit and it's right. <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty fantastic. So one of the things I was super excited about, and I know I've said it many times, I professed my love for the make. When I opened my first make, I wanted. I think my husband thought he was going to come home and our house was going to be made because that's all I talked about for days, and I just was making everything. So when a pink make came out, I know. And I knew I Look at this. Right. It's like Very a combo simple. matching. Yeah, I'm matching bubble bath. I was going to say, no, we need yeah. to do a Vanna White yeah, thing. Like, yeah. So, there you go. But then Heidi, of course, in her wisdom and brilliance, takes it one step further, people. One step further. And this little jar of magic. Magic. Gonna turn yeah. to the label is I forward. There you the go. Yes. There we go. Thank you, Megan. You're welcome. For directing you. So this bottle of magic, Heidi's gonna show us right now what this does, but get ready well, to be blown we, away. We can call it genius, but really this is just the thing that everybody has been asking for since the meat came out. You know, we have done all kinds of really cool things with the meat. And you can print with it and you can do stencils and with texture paste and, and foil that. You can use glue pens, you can use pre-made things that we have designed that, that work with me but still every time people still say what can you scan yeah. can you create the magic but but we haven't been able to and so we finally now have perfected the toner ink so that's what does come in the bottle you take the toner ink and yes you will measure it and so help me if i have to measure something so do you <laughs> but I, I mean you guys the amount of testing Yes, it requires 15 mils, not 14, not 17, 15, all right? And then you will pour it into a DIY little ink pad. And this ink pad will actually go into the airtight case. And the airtight oh. case is really to buy you some time because this does not stay. This is like a seize the moment kind of a product. So once you pour it, and you leave it open and you're working on it, you get about two hours, two to three hours of open time and about 125 impressions is what I'm getting. Out of 15 mils. Out of 15 mils. So one bottle will fill up four pads. So you do have to like get your tags ready, get your stamps Plan ready, get your yeah. diet yeah. coke ready, and then you know, you just go <laughs> on, right? It's super fun. It's actually inspiring to have that like limit on yourself. I was, I was intimidated by it, but it's actually kind of cool. So you're saying we enjoy happen. putting pressure on ourselves. I know, we don't. We have that in common. <laughs> okay, so I already stamped a little tag here um, right before you guys came. And I just, I've just foiled it. It's Hopefully gorgeous. you can see it in the yeah. light. I kind of have to tilt it back and forth so you can see it. It's gorgeous. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add another little bit to it. So... 
I have um, this little, it's like a palm leaf. And this stamp set is and gorgeous. And this is one of the best stamp sets ever. Do you want to show that and off? And you get the sampler, friends. Uh-oh. Oh, is oh, it in there? We're going to try. You're oh, going to give okay. something away. By the, you know, this will be something that we earmarked that needs to no, go It's got it cool is, backgrounds it on it. So and, yeah. It is so good. Now, what, what I'm doing here is I'm lightly tapping... Okay, see the stickiness? Oh yeah, guys? it's really sticky. This this is good. This yeah, is what we want. This is good. Right? Gotcha. Thank you. Gotcha. And so notice that I'm actually going back in between every impression. Okay? And I am stamping on a non-stick mat, which I recommend. Just kind of remember where you're working here. Okay, so I'm just kind of filling up those edges because it's fun. And um, so it's kind of a light tap on the pad, a really heavy pressure on your project because you really want to pull all of the ink off of your stamp and onto, you know, a nice smooth surface. And it probably works best when you have foam behind, right? As you does this like kind of have a foam mat well, there? Well, I do just have a mat. I think you just need a nice solid right. surface. Right, right. Um, and a non-stick surface because you do want it to clean up. Yeah. And you know what? I will tell you, while I'm letting this dry just a minute, and I'll just set it up here for a second. Okay. You want everything to be dry uh -huh. the foil. But I'm just using a dry paper towel, and oh, that's wow. what's wiping this off. Okay. That cleans so up even so though it's easily. very sticky, yeah. um, it will clean up with just a dry paper towel. That's what's best. If you put wet, it kind of just moves it around and makes right. it grow. So <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I'm going to use now my new green foil, which is this, okay, I'm not like a super big green person, but this green iridescent foil is brand new and it is so pretty. Okay, we want to make sure that it's nice and flat and um, and I'm going to go ahead and send it to the meat. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this needs to be on a five. On a, I was just going to say it's on five. Five, yeah. on a five, setting a five. And it has to be dry before you put it in. Yes. Okay. And you want to use a smooth paper. Okay. okay. The smoother, the better. Yeah. And the reality is when you first get this and you start to play, I want, I want you to dedicate one pour to playing and to figuring out like the pressure, figuring out the paper, figuring out like your timing, because once you know that, then sky's the limit. I will tell you that I it took some learning for me, and that's just the honest truth. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I want that to be an expectation. You're gonna have to like kind of figure it out. Okay, now that we're, I'm gonna pull this out, and you can already see through the foil that oh, yeah? it's sticking. Wow, look at that. Okay, we'll just go ahead and pull that off. That's amazing. So you're gonna learn like what you can and can't do. You, you're gonna learn that you can layer it. You can, like this one is really fun because I actually like color shined this paper and then stamped it. And look, I've even used that sparkly foil. That's amazing. Look at the detail too. Yeah. Like, I'm getting all the way, like these are the little dots from that stamp pad and just this little teeny detail. Yeah, you can that, read the words perfectly. Yeah. yeah. So. It works incredibly within the realm. I want to put the word back on it. Within the realm of its limitations, it works beautifully. So you just have to know what. We're getting are. a lot of excitement yeah. here now. <laughs> Everyone is so excited. Yes. Yeah, make sure you give us some hearts, guys, on this video so, so Heidi knows how excited you guys okay. are. So we're going to just kind of come in and I'm going to tell you why. Come on in to Heidi. Okay. Why I am coming out with this bright iridescent foil. Okay, so okay. come on in. Okay, I'm gonna come around this way. Sorry, so we can. Okay, so brand new foil. Okay, and this is a brand new foil holder. So this is oh. also, um, it comes with self-adhesive Velcro on the back. Wow. It comes with an alignment tool. And this is really nice. Especially those of you who are like, okay, I'm dusting off my knees, getting it back out. This is perfect. Keep it yeah. Um, respect the foil. Right? Yeah. That so, is really cool. Respect Just the so foil. You know, That's new hashtag, everyone. <laughs> respect the foil. Um, this is the starter kit. People keep asking me the retail. I don't I haven't memorized. I don't know. It's on there. Is that on there? Oh. Twenty four ninety nine. Did anybody read that? Yeah. Because yeah. 
Okay, $24.99. Gets you the entire, the bottle of toner ink. Yeah. The airtight case that has a pad in it and then two extra pads. Wow. But then you can come back and you can buy the ink for $8.99. cannot even yeah. read it's that. Yeah, it's $8.99. <laughs> um, we got you. An airtight case, which is $12.99, I think is what it says. And then refill um, pads. And then $6.99 for the four refill pads. So it's very... And then this is the stamp cleaner, uh, which is $9.99. And that's what you're going to use at the very end. Like, okay. don't clean your stamps in between. This, this ink likes dirty stamps. Right. Okay. Um, the pink ink is available. Also, you can get... There's really nothing different except for this is just super cute. So, <laughs> you're going to just keep the minks that you have... She did it for Catherine. I know she did. Yeah. <laughs> it's our SCT pink. It's SCT pink. It's yes. perfect. So, I want to just mention again one of my very favorite things, and I'm going to grab this really quick to go with it because these are new stencils. These are actually just paper stencils. Oh, cool. And there are 10 stencils in this set. I don't know if you can see them word stencils, um, pattern stencils. But the reason why I love this so much is because I like to use my clear or my mink, my white texture paste and this is um, so cool run the texture paste over it and let it dry completely and then send that through your mink this is with the rainbow foil. we need lots Are of you parts on Marco this Polo? you guys <laughs> yes did you see Lindsay's Marco Polo Wait, I, how amazing I was like, is have that have you never tried that Lindsay because <laughs> this like... is literally one of my very favorite techniques we actually did I know. this at Cornwall that yeah. is so cool and um, I like to make my own stencils using my Cricut or you know your silhouette and so, like, if you want major wow factor on the front of a book, wow! And there's then that green. There's that the green. So, that is so amazing. I'm a little obsessed. With the green. Everyone's I saying, "I need that genius. Yeah. I need it. I need it right now." Yeah. So good. So good. Okay, so let's just talk about the Art Walk collection really quick because it is just fresh and fun, and I don't want you to feel like you had to go on a tropical vacation to use it, even though there are some tropical vibes. But it's called Art Walk because I wanted just textures and color. Um, and so these are actually used for hand painted by my designer named Sheila. She's incredible, and I just love it. There's just soft, there's subtle textures, there's bold, crazy textures, tons of color. There is that tropical vibe that we all like need in the winter. Right? Great backgrounds. And um, yeah, I have used this collection so much. I totally love it. So a couple things that I want you to look for with this collection. Yes, there's cool stickers. The stickers are just the super subtle um, textured white because this is that stamp set that we were just yes. showing a second ago. And it's like all these little textures, map, dot, script, little bit of type, print, ledger, postmarks. This is so fun used on these. I'll stamp right on them. Oh. And then also on definition stickers. You guys, I've been making definition stickers since I was born. Yeah. And I love them. This is an awesome set. Love the, the white distress. Very cool. Other really cool thing is the, the postcard sets. We did them in both the collections, but it's vintage postcards and little stamps that are gold foiled. And they're just beautiful little stamps. They are for decorative use only, so please do not <laughs> mail them. <laughs> uh, stamps, ink box card um i did a little bit of chalking ink to these go with these really awesome yeah. like embossed tags wow. transform them in two seconds so yeah. cool very cool um washi paper pads this paper pad is unlike other paper pads because we actually call it a project pad because oh, wow. it has alphas. like two huge sets of alphas and these are my favorite kind of alphas have you guys ever known that about me yes yeah. <laughs> um and then like there's vellum, vellum sheets, glitter, glitter sheets, wow. pattern, and solids. Gorgeous. And actually, this is, is the, this is the only place that we get this favorite paper of mine. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That's a great one. It's a great one. Rosalind Kelly says, love everything that you do, Heidi. Aww, that's you. so nice. Thank you. Okay. I Lots of crop and create ladies are watching. I want to show you inside. Okay. Um, my mantra for 2020 is the best is yet to come, and wow. I'll talk more about that. But these are the Art Walk planners, my regular classic and personal size memory planners. But I kind of wanted you to see all these quotes. These come inside the planners. They're my most favorite quotes of all time that I've gathered. 
and pretty awesome. I just love them. Super inspiring. So if you're looking for just to be inspired and uplifted every day, because this is my favorite one. That's a good one. Well, Do it anyway. And everyone can see how you use your planners on your on your Instagram feed, and it's really amazing how you kind of organize your life and uh, record your memory. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. It's yeah. I just want to show you um, this cute sample because I love how it turned out. This is from our Christmas card this year, um, but I took paper, and I'll show you the chapter's paper in a minute. But I took paper, cut out the butterflies, and then I actually used the glue pen to color these the glue pen and foil wow so this is the leopard foil so i just dab that glue pen cornwall ladies will remember the glue pen <laughs> i kind of colored on the edges this is the rainbow foil there's that awesome cool. green foil there so just you guys have fun with foil even these and i'll show you these letters in just a second but you see how i use that stamp on these letters and then I also took my glue pen and just went right around the edges. I don't know if you can see it on the Facebook Live, yeah. but I've got white foil and layered with metallic rose gold foil. And I just very cool. had so much fun. And Heidi, can we give like a cute shout out to your son? Because I'm thinking he made these. He did. He bless him. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's a good, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> All of these panels, um, he cut um, the words into and for, and it was... It was a labor of love. That's awesome. Also, if you want to look real close, we also cut um, the holes for the shelves. So these shelves just slide right oh, in. Oh, perfect. Um, it was really, it's his ingenuity, actually. So very cool. Um, but it worked out great. So this is the inside of those planners. Um, the classic is pink on the inside, like a blush pink on the inside. The quotes are on the inside of the dividers it's beautiful so really really good beautiful and then the inside of the personal might be my favorite mm -hmm. because i just love that these, pattern is gorgeous this. makes you want to go on vacation i know yeah <laughs> let's go every day a vacation <laughs> yes right? but i'm yes. super excited to actually show you all what i fell in love with beyond the tonnering because i think that's very cool yeah. but i actually picked up something yesterday that i don't i don't get a lot of time to craft i won't lie and you know the best kept secret is i just i don't but I saw something yesterday that I'm like, okay, this is a game changer for me. So okay. let's walk over to that okay. wall. There we go. Because actually, Brenda Burrell, the um, founder of Pebbles, and I were standing in the booth together, and she was like, oh my God, this makes me want to do this more. And I'm like, I'm right there with you, sister, because I want to do this. So this wall right This must here. be good. Oh. <laughs> must be good. Okay, I am really excited about this because, okay, in the 20 years of me coming to this show, it's actually only 19, but... It feels um, like 40. It feels like 100. <laughs> I have never blown up pictures of myself in the booth. And so, um, and they're gorgeous. Let's just like appreciate these. Hoodie. Like, <laughs> who else rocks a, a pink hoodie. hoodie? A pink hoodie like Heidi does. I don't understand. How beautiful is that? I actually wanted to like get models and find like different women doing this. Um, and I'll get, I'll get emotional. You know that I get emotional. But um, I. I, I feel like memory keeping can stress people out, right? But what we need to realize is we actually are doing it all the time. Um, here I kind of defined like what is a planner and what is a journaler and what is a scrapbooker. But all, all three of these are in us. And the reality is the different parts of our life we document in different ways. Like what we put in our planners, we don't necessarily put in our scrapbook. We don't necessarily journal about you know, and so I wanted to kind of come up with a place where we could bring our planner, we could bring our journal, we could bring our scrapbooks and put it together. And I call it chapters because it's just for like all those different parts of our life. So these albums are new and super different. They're, they're actually not new because they're kind of a vintage throwback. If I'm being a little honest. bit, right? Um, in fact, the t-shirt. Will you just grab one of those empty? No, on the other, on the front. Just grab one of those empty ones. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so you, when you buy it, it comes with these nine rods. Now, if some of you are looking at this, they they just slide in these tracks. If some of you are looking at this and you're thinking, oh yeah, 
my grandma used to store her magazines in albums like this. Mm, that's where the yes, idea actually came yeah. from. Because we used to have these huge magazine storage albums when I, when I was growing up. Um, but what happens here is now you can take these little insert books that are geared toward these different areas in our lives and you can put them all together in these albums. So for example, I'm a planner. That's really where my heart is. Look at this. Um, so this, this is my actual planner and we're only about two weeks in, but I love, you know, I wrote here the things that I was praying about, you know, these are real, like this is my real life, what's going on. Um, and this is this week. Dead. <laughs> yeah. dead. This week doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, the planner inserts also have like the overview um, calendars with highlight pages. Then we go into the journaler. And I use, so you've got a blank, a dot, and also a grid. I use my journals to like um, study my scriptures, like a little scripture study stuff. Right. Um, I also use it to um, do quick documenting of things that are important to me. So I don't really count this as scrapbooking. It can be, but this is just me like getting photos down and getting stories. Everybody's journaling is going to be different. And then this is something that you can use later on to create yeah, a scrapbook layout. For sure. Yeah, I, for when you have I time. I just don't want these things to fall through the cracks. Right. So it might not have made it onto a scrapbook right. page. Um, but then there's things that definitely will be scrapbooked. And this was um, one of those things. Um, when I took my daughter to Mexico um, for her 18th birthday, and I just want to remember it forever. There's those little postcards with the cute little stamps. Um, you see stickers and washi tape. Mm -hmm. um, these scrapbook books have, I'll turn back here to the pages, it's got like, like it's a, got like a printed yeah, texture. Yeah, subtle, really yeah. subtle texture. Too. But the paper is thick enough that your pens don't bleed through. Um, a light amount of water coloring and you can staple things to it like it's heavy duty enough. Yeah. Mm. Um, so then you can put all these things together in one album and it just gives you a more expanded view of your memory. Really. So it's pretty these amazing. albums come in black that says timeless. The gray actually says nothing on the front. The blush um, says love, love life. Very and cool. That could be your love life or it could be that you love, that life. You love life so this is uh storyline chapters and is this already hitting the shelves now this heidi just gonna start shipping amazing amazing and we just gotta give jamie a shout out yes because so this, this is jen's book which is her like her garden journal which is amazing um and then jamie's is also amazing yeah this was which, gorgeous Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Um, where she has made pockets and she's made little opening spots for more journaling. Um, just really, there's the postcards again. I, yeah, I yes, those are great. Well, I love that she's stuff. folded it. Yeah, isn't that That's fun? That's amazing. So, just really. There's so many things. Every single person will. This is what I'm finding here at the show. Every single person is seeing this and feeling this in a different way. But every single person is like seeing it and it's you know the real version. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, okay. Well, I think you've made it easy. Too. Yeah, and also to really bring all those three points together into an album, which you know for some of us. I think all of us are pretty time challenging. Everybody that is here. Um, I think this gives us a little bit of a vibe. It says you can do it. And you can do it. Yeah. So. And you know, shout out to Vicky. Vicky is like, where was the mixed media insert? So I, I might not have. I might not have hit all of the. No. It's okay, Doug. We're just going to so start here. That can be the show next year, right? Yeah. We'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll be showing that next year. Sure. So yeah. We'll be right in this, you know, Facebook Live saying, I did this. <laughs> right. So, in addition to the, the chapter albums and inserts, we did create a 12 by 12 chapters collection with the full, all the embellishments, all the fun things. Um, yeah. So, we're going to pick 
Yeah, we're gonna have a look at that too. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll peek over here. Yeah. Um, another really, okay, so this is the whole collection, 12 by 12 papers. Um, you can see that the personas are kind of represented. Um, so you've got the bright and the cheery, you've got kind of a travel-y, vintage -y, oh, that's homey pretty, yeah. vibe over here. And I love the botanicals. Yeah, it's beautiful. And so it's very diverse. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite things about this collection is, in fact, the stamp set. So going back to the stamp set, oh, yeah. this is unique because it's like a storyline stamp set with the who, what, where, um, all the dates, and you can kind of change anything into a storyline album. This is that little postcard set for chapters. So again, six vintage postcards with all the stamps. I love those. And then this one is awesome because it's vellum, little vellum envelopes with little tags that fit. And then journaling spots, tags, washi, the project pad. This project pad has so oh, many wow. stickers in it. Um, and then it's gorgeous. the specialty papers, like, oh, this specialty so paper cool. might be yeah. my very fave. Um, glitter, and then patterns and solids, so beautiful. You guys, there's so much here, um, and I just want you to find beautiful ways to take that's the goal, right? Awesome. So, thank you for making that very easy for everybody to tell us. There you go. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You're not good. Heidi, how you doing? Heidi does not sleep, ever. I'm pretty convinced of that. I have been sleeping more. <laughs> wow. It's relative. An extra 20 minutes a day. Excellent. <laughs> thank you for showing us around. Thank you for always you know, coming up with something that everybody can just, I think, really just really embrace. That's amazing. And again, I can't wait to see you in Toronto next time. And uh, it's going to be here before we know it. Yes, it is. But you know what? Who had their project done first? Thank you. This, Yay. Really, this never happens. <laughs> so, um, anyways, thank you. All right, friends. Thanks, Heidi. Tour around the American Crafts Group because there's a lot to see. Um, there's a lot of great right. systems and there's a lot to see. Um, so join us all day long. It's, you know, day one, we can't get in the booths. They're so busy. And it's their day to sell, sell, sell. So day two is like, okay, now we get to show it online. So we're going to do that all day today. So thank you. All right. Thank okay. you. See you later. Bye.